o'clock and you are here for Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Welcome to the show. Welcome to my queendom where I make and break all the rules, baby. Yes! We'll talk about it in a little bit. Honey, let me get this meal started because it's not going to take very long and I need for you to like stay tuned. Uh, throughout the show, there may be some dissenting opinions um, about some things. Um, especially coming from me, you know, I ain't here to, you know, just lead the choir, okay? Like, I just need to, like, get it out. And because this is, like, a therapy show, also, uh, <laughs> you get to be the recipient of all of my getting out, okay? So, we'll talk about that in a little bit. All right. Butter is on. Let's get some oysters shucked. And how am I going to plate these? Okay, I got a little appetizer plate I'm going to use. Uh, my roasted potatoes. So my roasted potatoes, which I, I've, I've eaten half. Like before y'all came. And I'm not a potato girl. Like, I don't, I'm, that's not me. That's not my life. But these potatoes right here, I just season them with a little olive oil, some pink salt. Ooh, that looks like I'm absolutely doing this show naked right there. Doesn't it? Weird. Ooh, no. Okay. Um, pink salt, some pepper, some, I think I put some dried oregano on it. Uh, so, yeah, just season it what you want to season it with. Add that olive oil. Pop it in the oven, you know, on 350, and let it just sizzle up and cook. And then on the last 10 minutes of the journey, uh, turn it on broil to get a nice brown if it hasn't browned all the way. Honey. <laughs> They're so freaking good. They are good. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep this pan just like this. I ain't washing it out. I ain't doing nothing. Okay? I got my potatoes down. Here you go. <laughs> mm hmm Okay? And this, my lobster tail, after I cut it open, is going to go on this and in the oven. I got the oven on already. Okay? Okay. Let me wipe my hand. All right. <laughs> it's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, and I'm your host, Carla Renee. Go ahead and share this video with your friends right now. Go ahead and do it. The website is Sugar Pearls Online. YouTube is Sugar Pearls, and Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. I'm just glad it's Friday, honey. Glad it's Friday. Uh, we're going to try and cut this open. I'm going to bring you a little bit closer because um, I need you next to me while I cut this open. I, the shell is going to be rather hard. So I kind of want to make sure that I don't screw it up. And if I've got you beside me, um, it might work out better. Okay. So the butter is getting warm. I'm not trying to brown the butter. I really just want to melt it. Um, and I'm going to cut this. Okay. Because I want to make sure I get all of the meat. So I don't want to leave nothing out. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. It's a big one. But that last part went really, really well. Ooh, honey. Oh, 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 the meat in this thing is so oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm going to see if I can get through the top. So, there's, there's a very thin layer of, like, cartilage and if you're not careful 
you know, you'll, you'll think it's meat. It's really not. Make sure, you know, this is actually working out. Ooh. Okay, so when I take my finger in there, um, I'm loosening it up from around. Okay. 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 It, it feels like it's giving birth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I got it separate. I think I can cut the shell now. Because I see, and that little thin layer of cartilage I told you about is still detached from the meat. All right? Oh, it's not that bad. This wasn't so bad to cut. I thought it was going to be like super hard and like a barnacle almost. But it, it wasn't bad at all. Um, okay, confession time. I'm making a confession. So y'all know Ty, um, that works at this store down the street from me. You know, I always go there to get my seafood from him. You know, it's, I mean, it's a great store, especially when he's working. Because I know how you keep his area. It's stuff always immaculate. But today I cheated on my fish guy. Honey. Yes, I know, the harlot. Oh, I cheated on him. I went to another store, child, because Ty didn't have this. He didn't have this. And I hope that when he sees this video, he's going to forgive me. <laughs> hey, Ty. <laughs> but, um, so now all I'm doing, okay, so this is what I want. Are you here? Okay, so you can see how big. This is, again, with the lobster tail, once you get a little bit of steam on this thing, especially in the oven, like, it's just gonna, it just is, all right? It's inevitable. It's gonna happen, sweetheart, all right? But what I want to do is make sure that I've got that lifted out so that I can lay it on top of the shell, okay? Welcome to the show. You're just not getting here. Boo, where you been? We done start, we done party. I done like showed all my outfit. I, I know, I just put the shirt on over it, child. I, I want to remain like mildly conservative. Mildly. Okay, so now that I got my meat on top of the shell, I'm just gonna lay it in my same pan that I did my potatoes in, okay? All right. And then, all I'm going to do with this lobster tail, child, because I don't want it heavily seasoned. I've got a Jamaican cocktail sauce that I make here, so I'm going to be dipping the meat in that. I'm going to dredge it with a little bit of butter um, with some uh, green onions in it in a little bit. But right now, all I really want on this is some of that seasoned oil, olive oil, baby. Get that on there. A few cracks, a few turns of the pink salt. Okay. Be sure not to over salt. Especially your um your seafood. Because it, it, you know, it's got a natural kind of um salty flavor to it just from from being in in the water itself in the ocean so you don't want to take away from that by like overkilling it with all kinds of seasonings okay very light on this all right so that's what we're doing tonight so i'm gonna put a little bit of paprika okay because i know that's what y'all do so i'm gonna put the paprika with a paprika Wait, go. Okay, here you go. Get a little paprika on there. That'll just help the brown and it ain't it don't do nothing. Child, calm down. It don't do nothing. Alright. Let's shuck a few of these. Um I'm gonna turn that Oh. Shuck a few. Uh, when you shuck in your oyster, you wanna make sure you got a nice towel and a really good paring knife. Okay? Alright. Y'all. Okay. If you are just coming on, honey, thank you, 
so much because you've been rocking with me probably since this time last year. Probably. Yes, I'm celebrating one year of Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen Live, y'all. Yes, I got like lights and stuff. Honey, I'm celebrating all things. All things in this season. Okay, the website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls and Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. All right, let's get a few of these um, oysters popped open. Oh, I want to, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. Okay, paring knife. Okay, it's something kind of small, sharp, because uh, you're going to be going inside the... Uh, shell here and you don't want you don't want that uh shell and that blade to slip on you um ain't nobody trying to go to the emergency room tonight okay all right so when you're shucking your oyster you got your towel got your oyster just go ahead and cradle it just like so inside the towel okay hey nessa <laughs> hi kimberly <laughs> Thank you, baby. I am counting on many more to go. Uh, I'm going to turn it upside down. Because normally, I, I'll turn it up. So when I say upside down, so the raised part would be the top part for me. The underside that's more flat and cratered would be the underside for me. Okay? All right. So I'm going to turn it on, on top of its top. And I'm just going to find a little soft spot. Um, just insert my knife and this way, twist my knife. Wasn't supposed to break like that, but <laughs> you get it. You're going to insert it, twist, insert it, twist. And that'll usually just go ahead and, and get things popping in this case. <laughs> I got to go back because I broke it. I'm wasn't supposed to do that. All right, let's just, let's, here we go. When it happens just right, you should actually just kind of feel it lift. All right, so there we go. All right, so we've got one shucked um, oyster. I'm gonna get a little bit of ice. So I asked um, the fish guy that I was cheating on time with for a little bit of his ice too, child. Oh, all right. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Yes. It's your host, Carla Renee. Thank you for being here with me. A year ago, um, I turned on the camera on my phone and I was cooking some fish, escovish style, and I just decided to like let the audience in on the joke. I didn't know that a year later I would still be doing SPSK and like looking forward to it every single Friday. When I tell you that this is therapy for me, this is mm, this is my lane right here, honey. I I can do this. All right, come back over here now. Why y'all? Why y'all? Hey everybody. Hey Cliff. Why are y'all online dragging Kamala Harris like that? Hmm? I heard about it. I heard and I am not pleased. I am not pleased. Y'all, this is a great time. This is a great time. I told a friend of mine um, at work, a work colleague, the other day. And I said, you know what? I said, if you were ever doubting yourself or feeling that you just, like, now is the time to, like, state your demands and go after what it is you want. Damn, would anybody else say, honey, go for it. Go for it. So, um, I think this is a great time. Um, I think that Kamala Harris is... A great pick. She was not my pick. 
My pick was Val Demings. Mm -hmm. Val, oh my gosh, I love Val Demings. I just do. I just do. Um, so I was not um, anticipating. I knew that he would choose a black woman. I felt very strongly about that. But I was not expecting um, Kamala. So, I had this discussion with my baby sister. I keep calling her baby sister, but y'all know, Pat. Okay, but she she baby, but a bunch. So that's why I call her baby sister, all right? She's a grown woman. All right, but, so we were talking, and I was just kind of musing. Just musing. I'm, I'm going to turn, turn my music down. Okay. Okay. Not hi Danny. Hey boo. I I want you for this discussion too, Danny. Um you're I, I'm I'm putting myself on the couch right now because I I may need to work through some things. Okay. So I need your free help right now. Okay. Uh <laughs> so when I was talking to my baby sister and she like Val Deming, I told her before I was like Please choose Val. Please choose Val. So I was crushed when he didn't, but I was still very happy um, that he, all of the women that were contenders are smart, capable, thoughtful, oh, measured, and compared to the doofus you have now, uh, would be a welcome change. So, um, but here's where i need counseling okay and you can chime in all right little thing so i was wondering okay and again this is a great moment for not only kamala harris but this is a great moment prayerfully for black women in this country all over our country uh who have been denied so much and have fought um on just about every side everybody wanted us to be fighting on to help and support them and and finally like this moment is here this is this is awesome yeah but i was wondering would america be ready okay this is where the counseling come in now okay don't come for me on my page because i'll i'll put some community college words on you okay um let me preface it by saying this don't worry the lobster tail is doing just fine it's almost bright red um kamala harris is a great pick um, she will understand the scope of this work. I do believe. I do believe. And I think that, you know, because she's, you know, had to, had to address a problematic past, um, when it came to, you know, her prosecution record in this country, you know, she'll, she'll navigate that the best way you know she knows how but here here's where the music comes in so um there are great advantages um that kamala uh kamala harris not only brings because of her law expertise but um i don't know if this country would have been ready for a dark skinned i'm just saying i'm just saying like a val demings someone that was the skin color of jim clyburn i this is not a knock nobody can't do nothing about their skin color honey all right don't go there with me don't do it this is a okay these are thoughts um but they're who there's so much to break down, you know, 
about that. Yeah. How much is colorism still playing in our society, especially with women in politics? Yeah, we... Um, it, it was easy for white folks to take Barack Obama because he had a white mom. I'm just saying. It may be easy for white folks to take Kamala Harris. She's got a white husband. Um, she was raised largely, um, to see or to, oh, I'm trying to, trying to do this the best way I can, child. Um, to navigate white culture. Okay. Air quotes. All right. Um, she'll be easy for folks to take. So I think it was a great, safe choice. I don't know. These are just, it was just a thought. And this is not a knock. Yes. I don't care. And let me, let me say this before I go further. All right. So if, if you out there typing stuff and, you know, you try child stuff. All right. But, um, I don't care if we got to drag Joe Biden to the White House like weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> I'm voting for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And I don't normally disclose, like, how I'm voting. But, yeah. That's how I'm going. So, I don't care. Like, yes. Yes. They are getting my vote. Absolutely. I was just wondering, though. You know? How much does colorism play, especially when it comes to um, black women in this society? You know, um, it worked for Barack Obama. Um, now we have Kamala Harris, you know, um, born of a, an Indian mother and a Jamaican father. Um, I'm just saying it. Out loud, what y'all been talking about around the dinner table? <laughs> okay, I know you. I know you have been. I know you have been, right? Okay. Because especially as black women, like we we understand this and and we accept this and we some of us honor this. That's that's okay. Um, but I'm just acknowledging, you know. But we getting Joe and Kamala to the White House. I know that. I don't care if she was purple. I don't care. Yeah, I got my oyster child. Hold on. Mmm. 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 Honey, that's just the appetizer. The appetizer. Vote. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Vote Blue, no matter who. I love that. Yeah. Um, child, look, look at what you and your children got now. I'm just saying. Democracy on its ear. People protesting wearing masks because it violates their freedom. Since when does, when, when did y'all lose all y'all common sense? All of it? Hmm. I'm just musing. <laughs> just musing. But I ain't told nobody to drink this effect. 
I'm just saying. Okay. Sure. Okay, I'm going to eat one more and then I'm going to take my lobster tail out. Ah! Okay, so uh, my question was, you don't have to answer it, but I guess I was just wondering if I was alone or not and if um, you thought maybe colorism had a part to play in the VP choice. I don't know. I'm still voting for it, though. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Honey, that lobster, that um, oyster. Oh my goodness! So doggone good. So good. Hey, if you're just joining, you are late to the party, but that's okay. You're still here, and I'm glad. But go ahead. And share this video right now. Here's a hint. It's right down there below. Yeah, go ahead and click share. Then come on back. And then watch me eat this masterpiece. As we celebrate one year of Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Y'all, okay, so while my lobster is finishing, um, I'll, I want to say this to you. All right, it's... I just got to make sure, honey. Okay, so I'm going to say this. Um, thank you so, so much for, I, I say getting in on the joke because it, I really didn't take it seriously. Like the first couple of shows, like I did, and then y'all started sharing and, and watching and telling people about Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live and the stories and the conversations. And guys, this is another stage in my life, okay? And I don't normally live it out, you know, everything is not for public consumption, all right? Um, but this, this was quite a welcome surprise in my life to have a platform where I could meet you, talk to you, share my gift and my love of cooking and eating, child. And you've been here for it. Uh, so thank you so much to all of my friends. Oh, uh, like, my family, those of you that have called or texted or child sent me a few dollars to buy some groceries, uh, <laughs> like my mind was blown. So thank you so, so, so much for just riding along, allowing me to just get ish out, y'all. And um, not judging me too harshly for all that I am and all that I ain't, because, you know, we are what we are, right? And I realize that I come with a whole package, y'all. A whole gift wrapped package. Hold on. Of flaws. Yes, warts and all. And, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is good. Uh, thank you, Bridget. Thank you, cousin <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> thank you, brother Tommy. Oh, guys, thank you so much. Um, yeah. Here's some more. Where's my wine? Y'all got y'all wine? Where y'all drink at? Where y'all drink? Let's do a little toasty toast. Hold on. Let me get my little bourbon barrel aged Cabernet. Okay. Alright. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Butter, butter, butter. I don't have a whole lot of butter, but enough to kind of gloss it up. And, um, oh, I need a phone with my, um, to get ready to take my pictures. All right. 
Thank y'all. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Linda. Oh, Linda, I was so sorry to hear about your loss, baby. We love you. Um, praying for you in this time. This, uh, yeah. And when I think about this year, you know, there've been, there's been so much to celebrate and so much to mourn. Um, I think we still in mourning for a lot of things. Um, Breonna Taylor for one. It's still a good time to, to get justice on that. Uh, so. I don't know. Oh. But it seems like when at least when we're together or when we're with people that love and care for us, um, even in the midst of our pain, even in the deepest parts of our celebrations, you know, to have someone there is so important. So important. So if you got someone or several someones, that just do that for you in your life. Yes, let's tell Sunny. Oh, you're not about to make me <laughs> sweat off my big old lashes tonight. No, sir. Yes. All right, are we ready to eat? Ready, 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 ready. All right, let me check on the lobster. These lights are so freaking hot, child. You would think I'm running like a real, a real network up in here. Who knows? I don't know. Let, let me let me get my network. Let let me get my own network and see what happened, child. Let me get one more voice. Uh, ooh. Yeah, that's it. I know. If lobsters, I mean, if uh, oysters are not your thing, then don't mind me. But I'm, I'm, I'm about to have my job. Mm. I want that on. Um, hot sauce to kind of give it that little vinegary taste you need. So good. Did you share yet? Are you still drinking? <laughs> All right, one more sip, one more sip. Then you gotta share, okay? Mm. <laughs> Thank you. All right, the website is Sugar Pearls online.com YouTube is Sugar Pearls that's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S and Instagram is Sugar Pearl underscore online we're doing a whole thing this year okay so whatever your thing is jump on it Jump on it, honey. If this show has taught me anything, especially about life, tomorrow ain't promised. Tomorrow ain't. My grandfather, Fullard Isaac, rest his beautiful, honorary soul. He used to say, uh, and usually sweets or, you know, something he wasn't supposed to have was involved. I said, well, granddaddy, you know, you can always, you know, have it tomorrow. And his response would be, I ain't never seen tomorrow. And he had this kind of raspy voice. Of, I ain't never seen tomorrow. <laughs> and I thought that was so prolific. I ain't never seen tomorrow. I 
know not what tomorrow will look like. And then when it gets here, it's no longer tomorrow. It is the now. Okay? So, uh, my advice for you, um, don't wait for tomorrow. Mm-mm. Don't wait for tomorrow. We need your gift now. Right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, oh, God. This lobster tail reminds me of my cousin Michael Ben. Shout out to Michael. We went out one night. He took me to um, one of my favorite restaurants in Charlotte. But he ordered this lobster tail. Ciao. Sorry. And it was like big as my face. I was like, oh my God. And just a simple little celebration. But one thing he taught me is if you're going to celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate. Tomorrow ain't promised. Tomorrow ain't promised. That's why I ain't celebrating my two year sugar pearls or five year. Um, this is a small win, but it's it's enough. It is enough. Okay, oysters out of the way. Let's plates. Ah, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, he was a wise man. He was a my he also his other saying was so it's I ain't never seen tomorrow and the other one was um like if he went to visit somebody he never wanted to stay too long. I was like that why you why you don't just stay? Before he would leave, he would always say, Short visits make long friendships. Yeah, if you come in to visit, don't be staying all day, honey. Okay, because Lord knows I'm like that. Like, okay, now you, you know, you're sucking up my ear. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> so I get a lot from my granddad. Yeah, I mean, he's been gone for several years now, but I think of that stuff he said, and it just cracks me up. I'm like, dang, Papa, you just... Ah, okay. Y'all ready to eat? Are you? Yeah, we about to eat uh, right now. Okay, you need to share this video right now with your friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. I gotta find the camera. Camera. Girl, get your drink, honey. Okay. This, uh, I'm gonna put it on this other appetizer plate. I got some red skin roasted red skin potatoes right here, and we just gonna oops, put the lobster tail right on it like that. Okay. All right. So I melted a little bit of butter. Um, I gotta be really really careful. <laughs> about my you know consumption certain things that taste so good but might not be so good for me so all right all i have in this butter um you can add garlic powder or whatever you want but all i have in here is just some um green onions so they're nice and soft and butter that is it And garlic. I put some garlic in here. Like, I actually cut it. Okay. All right. Mm. I have a heck of a lot to clean up tonight. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, shoot. Okay. I gotta take a picture. 
I know, because, you know, when I eat this, then, you know, um, this could be me. Hang on. No, I got to take it in front of my, you know, I got a little light over here. And it gives me, like, the perfect angle for this, um, perfect lighting for my food. I'm going to show you in just a second. Hold on. Be patient. Okay. Just be patient. Oh, I got broccolini. I got broccolini. Hold on. Y'all know plating is... I, I obsess about it. Okay. Don't play. You know, if we got to do the whole thing. You get the total package here I'm just putting some broccolini around the tail hang on a couple more okay <laughs> I know I get so excited mm. <laughs> Are you sipping too? <laughs> that's my cousin for sure. She said, I'm sipping on wine. Yeah, you know, that's a family trait. We got to sip on our wine, honey. That is our... <laughs> oh, that was your screenshot, okay? Mm, such a pretty plate. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Yes, okay. I didn't take a picture with the broccoli, so we already know it tastes good. Okay. But you gotta get that money shot, you know? Thank you, Tashula. <laughs> Thank you, honey. This is just um a celebration, uh one year celebration for Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. One year uh, that I've been doing this show. I love it. If someone told me that I would not be able to do this show anymore uh, with you, I might have a small meltdown. Okay, just, I'm just saying, I have to have that with you. I have to. How'd it look? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh. Okay. Ciao. Enough of the shenanigans. Let's let's eat. Let's eat this masterpiece. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, I thank God for this food. Oh. Uh, the ability to be able to buy it <laughs> for real i'm always excited when um i swipe the card and it works no <laughs> that is a good feeling though you know so glory be all right let's get i'm gonna just use this little pair of knife right here okay because i might take some more pictures later on today thank you cousin Thank you. This is your, um, just an oven roasted lobster tail. That's it. How long would you say was in the oven? About maybe 15 minutes. And I did, I never did turn it on broil. I just had it on bake at 350. So about 15 minutes, make sure you take it out of the shell later on top of it. Okay. Red skin potatoes, broccolini. All right. I'm a try to find a piece so I can still have a picture. All right, little bit of butter. Hold on, I got my Jamaican cocktail sauce, which is just some cocktail sauce, champagne, and Jamaican relish, Jamaica relish, okay? All right, so Jamaican relish, Jamaica cocktail sauce right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. So with big, big lobster tails, sometimes you have to worry about them being not so tender or too chewy. Honey, I got a feeling. I'm not even going to dip this. I'm going to just eat. Okay. Thank you, Jesus, for my friends. Amen. Mm. No, I just wanted to have a piece without the cocktail stuff. Because I want to taste the meat. Okay. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Some of that onion and garlic butter. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Honey. This is a whole meal. A whole meal. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's so much meat. It's tender. We didn't cook it too long. Thank you, Kay. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. One more bite. I'm trying to get it from from this side so I can, uh, you know, you know. Look, don't worry, I'm about to smash, for real. For real, for real. Just right now. I can't keep you on here too much longer, okay? <laughs> Look, thank you again for watching for telling your friends about the show, for supporting a little country girl's dream. Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to tell folks about the show. If you don't know the story of Sugar Pearls, the story of Sugar Pearls, uh, make sure you go to my website so that you can read the story of Sugar Pearls. Mm -hmm. The website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls and Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. Um, next week. I've got linguine and clam sauce. So good. And I want to get some voter registration information to you. Okay? So if you know folks that have not voted in the past, please encourage them to vote. Um, you know who I'm voting for. Mm-hmm. Weekend at Bernie's. I am. Yup. Dragging him right on to the White House. Him and Kamala. <laughs> Act crazy if you want to. Honey. You really want to live in the circus for another four years? Really? 
Mm. Okay. It's on you. Uh, <laughs> but I'll see you next time, child. When we talk and we eat and we chop it up. Thank you for being here with me. I love you. And I hope you love me back. Bye.